Yeah. 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 Much. What have you seen these first two games that you okay, still need to work on? Um, I think uh, a lot of stuff defensively, just being able to communicate. And um, yeah, it's really it's new to us. There's a lot of new players. Yeah. All right. What you seen uh, first two games that we need to work on still? Transition defense. I got to be better turn the ball over. Um, that's going to help with our transition defense and the rebounding the ball. Other than that, we've been solid. When you run those freaking and rolls, what do you need you guys to do, you know, from a spacing standpoint, screen standpoint? Be a basketball player. You know what I mean? Like if they man ball watching, cut for a layup or not, be ready to shoot. Team man will have a lot of responsibility with ball handling as well. So uh, for me, just getting comfortable playing off the ball, moving. Um, doing certain things to, to, to make our offense fluid and getting guys shots. So speaking of Terrence, like, I know you work with your bigs a lot yeah. in the pick and roll. How do you work with the guards to get them better, uh, get Terrence better to make those decisions when they have to handle the ball? I think it's going to be both. The bigs, obviously, Zoo, and then, you know, guard to guard, pick and roll is very big, especially around the league. That's how you create, you know, uh, spacing. That's how you create uh, getting into the paint and then from there, just making the read. So, I mean, team management is doing a really good job of that, especially since I've been here. And, uh, other than that, he's going to have the ball. So just more our guards, I think DJ is very, very good at it. So the more we can all as a unit get great at it, I think our offense will be uh, elite. Terrence, you've been one of the best finishers uh, at the rim really over the last few years, especially in transition. How excited are you to have a guy like James for a full season to play alongside, especially in transition, to get those lead passes? Yeah, super excited. You know, he does a great job pushing the ball, finding me on the break. Um, and I'm going to just do what I do around the rim. You guys game the game like Marge's very is a lot smaller this year, feels like can you get off the slow starts. Like how do you guys emphasize that game to game? Um, to make sure you're getting off the cut solid starts and not playing from behind like last year? Just being just sticking to the details. I think the things that we've been going over in training camp is very vital and important to, you know, getting off to great starts and then carrying us throughout the entire season. I think we gotta we gotta rely on our defense and our defense we got some really, really, really good defenders, um, individual and, and as a team. I think that's going to help us offensively as well. And then offensively, kind of knowing what we're trying to get to, and then just doing it consistently. And then not turning the basketball over, like giving teams extra opportunities. And if we can do that, things which we all can control that, like we don't, we don't sneak up on a lot of people because people are just already looking over us. So, which is a good thing. We don't care. On TV, they call it a Harden University workout with some of the younger guys. Um, on what TV? Uh, um, they called it hard. You think I got my own school? Oh. <laughs> you didn't know that? Yeah. Um, that you because you work out work with these younger guys and the new guys after practice a lot. Is that something? It's not even a new guy. It's just us as a team getting better. I guess it's nothing. It's, I'm a new guy. <laughs> you know, honestly. You know what I mean? So I think it's just finding ways to get ahead of the curve. You got all these teams that's been together. The core been together for years to where we're behind. So just trying to you know, there's more. There's more. And I don't want to like. Overdo it, but as much as we can kind of get an extra work in five, ten minutes a day, that adds up in the bills to throughout the whole season. Was that something you came up with before the season, or that is the That's something that when I, when I got here, I saw. James, this is a year 16 for you, and you're still out here post practice, full sweat. Like, what is it that drives you to still put in the work the way you do with this lady? I love the hoop. You can't take that from me. I love the hoop. I love the hoop. You mentioned defense, and on media day you said JVG's left you like little notes in your locker. Yep. Oh, Terrence, I wanted to ask you, like, what have you seen through two games, Jeff Van Gundy's voice and his intent with the defense? I mean, his voice is big time, and like you said, he's re he's real particular on what he wants to see. Um, you know, he wants to see everybody on the same page. He wants everybody to be vocal. He wants the leaders to take that step and, um, you know, kind of lead the younger guys and the new guys. So he's doing a great job of, you know, reiterating that, and, you know, he's having fun with it. Left do you need notes or anything like that, like he does, does no, for Jenny? No, 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 no. I need, I need to know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you think any kind of like tinkering period is trying to figure out, like obviously the loss of Paul is, is big, like tinkering just to see which guys work best with whom and, and all that type of stuff? Yeah, I mean, this is the tinkering period. This is the period where you get to work on that. Um, different lineups, different units, different guys doing different things. Um, you know, it's preseason, so that's where you figure it out. You know what I mean? Last night, Man Man showed that he could um, play point, handle the ball, make some passes. You know, that's just that comes with time. You know, guys show different things that they can do different things, um, and then it's up to the coaches to plug them in where they want to.
you and Zoo have been the longest tenured Clippers. Do you view you guys? And Amir. And Amir, that's what's correct. Uh, do you view you guys as like the leadership group on this team because of that seniority, so to speak? Yeah, 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 a little bit of it. Um, you know, guys always ask us questions, come up to us, ask us questions how, about how the organization is ran, um, you know, whether it's in the weight room or in the um, uh, treatment room or on the court. So, uh, you know, we try to take that role and, and give our knowledge. How's that differ for you men mentality wise from when you first came in as a rookie second round pick to super now super different man super different um you know before i was just a sponge just kind of sitting back listening learning um, not saying too much and now my voice is being heard my voice is being asked to to speak up um so this is a different role but it's cool I'm telling you guys the facility wasn't always like this yeah they have no idea huh uh, um, well actually we were there uh, earlier this summer but um, you know, this is beautiful. This is totally, I'm excited for Monday. I think we play Monday mm -hmm. for, to see how the game situation is going to look like. So I'm excited for that. You mentioned the line uh, and, you know, the backup guard situation. Uh, for all the guards, taking care of the basketball needs to be a big thing. What's kind of, what, what has he been doing in practice, him specifically, that has kind of encouraged y'all to maybe give him more of an opportunity with the main guys? Um, I think just playing hard and then, honestly, we, we hadn't seen it too much in practice. The game was really the first time, so he, he, he built that opportunity for himself. Um, carved out a little, you know, a little niche right there. Well, did you see Natalie at the conference there? She got the what job? The Golden State Valkyries. She's the head coach. What? Yeah. Today. When was that announced? Uh, today. Nah, I didn't see that. That's crazy. Um, and you worked with her a lot. I mean, yeah, to know where Nat came from to now, that's just amazing to be able to see that. I can't wait to call it. That's the Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Terrence. Thanks, Terrence. Yeah. Thank you, Terrence. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.